John Brancho here from Nissan. I'm the Vice President of Marketing. Um, glad to be here at the LA Motor Show. So here at this show, right behind you, we have a pair of GT6 simulators. Talk a little about the role video games play today when it comes to Nissan. Well, I mean, uh, video games are huge for a young uh, male target audience for us. Um, we've been in these games for years um, as a result of the performance heritage of the Nissan brand. So for, for Nissan, uh, it's really a pretty natural fit for us to be integrated into the games like Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo is celebrating its 15th anniversary this year. What are your thoughts about how far the technology has come over that time span? Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit amazing, and I, you can see perhaps the images here on the screen behind us, but um, it feels like you're on the track when you're driving uh, these. Uh, it's, it's a wild experience. The big thing behind the Gran Turismo franchise has always been realism. Can you talk a little about how a company like Nissan works with Sony with getting their cars into the game? Uh, there's a, there's been a, a lot of you know uh, collaborative um, work that's done uh, between our even our engineering teams getting the appropriate CAD data so that Sony can make it as real life as is possible um, in this experience. So there's massive collaboration as you would expect. I mean it's highly technical, obviously. And beyond the actual video game, you guys have also partnered over the years on the GT Academy. Let's start by. Just have you explain what that is. Yeah, the GT Academy is probably, the, in, in my uh, automotive career, the coolest project I think I've ever worked on. Um, we've actually created an environment where we can have uh, real gamers actually get the opportunity to become race car drivers through competing on Gran Turismo. Uh, this year we had roughly 400,000 gamers, and this is our third year of doing this in the U.S., 400,000 gamers competing online. We cut that down to 32 based on their performance um, competing against each other. Those 32 went to New York to compete on sleds, just like this, head to head. Um, we took it down to 16, and then those 16 drivers get to go to Silverstone Raceway in England, one of the most famous racetracks, and get trained for a week. We film the entire thing, turn it into a reality TV show, and the winner uh, ends up being trained by Nissan, first in Europe, and then bringing them back to the United States as a real Nissan race car driver. So we've got a couple of, of winners in the last couple of years that are, you know, believe it or not, driving in the 24 hours of Dubai and, you know, in races all over the world. Imagine going from gamer to race car driver. It's bizarre. Well, what does that say about the realism of the video games today, that you can go from a game to the real life? Well, and you can. I mean, these guys will tell you that it does, the game does prepare you because it's so real for racing. Obviously, there's a lot of other skills that are required to be an actual race car driver, and you've got to be fit. And, you know, we, we put them through a bit of a boot camp to make sure we know which guys are fit. But in the end, they're racing to determine who is the best driver. And then again, we'll take those drivers and bring them on to the Nissan team, and they'll be racing the following year. When it comes to video games today, can you talk a little about the role they play, especially as we see car companies start to debut cars in the video game before they're even drivable in real life? In terms of the, the just yeah. like the video games as a platform to debut oh, vehicles. Yeah. Well, you can get, you know, it's, and again, it's all, it's virtual, but you can get real-time feedback in terms of what consumers may or may not want to see in the future. Um, so it's a great venue for us to get that type of feedback. And when it comes to Nissan, are you familiar with what cars you guys have in the new GT6? Um, well, of course, the GTR and the, the Zs are, are here, and, and uh, I think everybody's favorite is the uh, is the GTR. Uh, here at the LA Motor Show, we just launched today the GTR Nismo, uh, 545 horsepower wasn't enough, so uh, we're producing a, a Nismo version of GTR that'll be available in the calendar year 14. That's 600 horsepower. Um, just set a new world record um, at the Nürburgring, uh, seven minutes and eight seconds, and the car does zero to 60 in two seconds. And that's something that you guys would have collaborated on with Sony to get the actual car in there before it's even available? Well, that, this, will, this would probably migrate into the game in, in the next version. It's not something that's in there now. Um, but again, because it's a virtual world, we have the liberty to create whatever we want in that world. And downloadable content allows you allows them to add new cars anytime they want as well. Absolutely. Absolutely.